Craig here from North 49. And are you curious as to what you need to do to determine if someone has BPPV? Well, if that's the case, you're in the right place. And in this video, we'll cover our two go-to assessment techniques to determine if someone has BPPV. Before we get into the assessment techniques, let's just take a sidestep and, and review the anatomy of the in-ear. So when we do the assessment technique, it makes a little bit more sense. So I'll grab this model here, the, the inner ear. And just to orientate you here, we have the lateral or horizontal canal, the posterior canal, and the anterior canal of the right ear, all right? Now, the posterior canal is affected 85 to 90% of the time with BPPV, the lateral canal 10 to 15% of the time, and pretty much rare with the anterior canal. And we're gonna go into the dix hall pike test, which is uh, one of the tests for BPPV. And this is the right ear, so if we did the right dix hall pike test, it's gonna test the right posterior canal. But if you know your anatomy of the inner ear, we know that the right posterior canal uh, is orientated parallel to the left anterior canal. So actually, when we do the right dix hall pike, we're testing the right posterior and the left anterior. And when we do the left dix hall pike, we're gonna test the left posterior canal and the right anterior canal. So by doing the dix hall pike both ways, we test it for the six canals. We still have the lateral canal in both ears. And to test that, we'll do the roll test. So here we go. With Dick's Hall Pike testing, I have the patient in long sitting sack, so I'll just have you sitting upright, put your feet out in front of you, and I'll go through the instructions, all right? So I want you to hold on to my hand, with my arm with both hands, okay? Now we're going to check the left ear in this video. So Zach, I want you to turn your head 45 degrees to your left. I'm going to put my hand behind your head here, okay? We're going to close the eyepiece, and then on three, we're going to lay you back as quick as we can, all right? If you get dizzy, you know it'll pass, so just stay still. Stay still, keep your eyes open, and keep your head turned to left, okay? Now, one thing I forgot to mention too, the setup, I lowered the head of the bed about 20 degrees. All right, any questions, Doc? No. Okay, we're gonna close the eyepiece here. All right, turn his head 45 degrees to his left. Support behind his back with my, my hand behind his head and my, my form across his upper back, and he's squeezing tight. You can squeeze tight as you want, just no snake bites, and we'll go back on three. One, two, three, back. Good. All right, and I slowly take my hand out from behind his head. You just rest your arms there. And I look to see if there's any nystagmus and ask for symptoms. If he complains of dizziness, but there's no nystagmus, that's negative for Dick's Hall Pike. That's just showing he has some motion sensitivity. There has to be nystagmus and dizziness at the same time for it to be a positive test. And in this case, since it's his left ear, we expect it to, the nystagmus to be up and torsioning to the left. And I wait at least 30 seconds just to make sure. So again, this is checking his left ear, specifically the left posterior canal. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds. Let's sit you up, Zach. I'm gonna put my hand behind his head. He grabs onto my arm and it'll be slowly sit them up. Now they may get a little bit dizzy. Let's open the eyepiece there. They may get a little dizzy when they sit up just from coming up quickly. That's normal. All right, so that's the Dix Hall Pike test, testing the left ear. Now we want to check the right ear, so we do the exact same thing. Turn his head 45 degrees the other way, grab onto my arm, and lay him back. Okay, so that would be the Dix Hall Pike for the right ear. All right, so that's the Dix Hall Pike, checking the posterior canal of the left, and then checking the posterior canal of the right ear. So if a person does have BPPV, the majority of the time the canal that affected is either the right or the left posterior canal. So doing the Dix Hall Pike um, will pick that up. Now there are times where it can be in the lateral canal. It's not as common, but it can be positive in the lateral canal and the Dix Hall Pike test may not pick that up. So if the Dix Hall Pike test is negative, it still doesn't mean they don't have BPPV we need to rule it out with doing the roll test. So basically the test position, I have Zach lying here, and um, the instructions are the position of the bed, it could be either flat or up to 20 degrees of inclination for the head, all right? So we have them up uh, slightly, we have the goggles on, 
And again, you may see the nystagmus um, in room light, but I have the tools, so I'm gonna use them. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. And I can see what's happening on, on the computer screen here. So Zach's comfortable here. And then all I do is I just come to the head of the bed. And Zach, we're just gonna do some more tests here. All I want you to do as quick as you can, I want you to turn your head and look over the left shoulder, okay? I'm, not, I'm gonna put, place my hands on both sides of the head. I'm not gonna turn his head, but I'm just gonna guide his head, okay? So Zach, as quick as you can, turn to your left. One, two, three. All right, he's a bit competitive. All right, and I look for any nystagmus. Keep your eyes open, wide open. So again, we wait, see if there's any dizziness, with a company nystagmus, wait for it to stop. And uh, if there was nystagmus and dizziness, that'd be positive. And usually the nystagmus is, is lateral in this case, not up and torsional like it is for the posterior canal. All right, so that was negative. Zach, we're gonna turn your head to the, back to the midline. All right, keep those eyes wide open, you're doing good. And then on three, remember on three, we're gonna turn your head as quick as you can over the right shoulder, okay? One, two, three. And again, I watch the computer screen and just tell me if there's any dizziness, Zach. Okay. Keep those eyes wide open. And again, we wait at least 30 seconds, all right? So that's the, the rule test. And if it is positive, you're gonna see lateral nystagmus, all right? You may see it when you go both ways, all right? And there's typically one side that will be more, uh, you, the nystagmus and the dizziness will be more prevalent. And uh, that may be a cue as to which ear it is. So that's the roll test for the lateral canal uh, BPPV. So there you go. We covered the Dix Hall Pike and the roll test. So if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at North 49.